rainy days are scorching in the summertime. We have to deal with issues like, like the sun, issues of, well, of big origin in terms of the skin and how we deal with it. Now, today we have with us a specialist. He's a scientist, Dr. James Machino. He deals with every area that you can imagine regarding the skin. You may have been one of the millions who have had to spend billions of dollars collectively on creams and lotions and potions and masks but you're only touching the surface literally dr james machina was going to tell you why today he's going to be talking about his book that he brought along with him the wrinkle free zone dr machino thank you so much for joining me today pleasure christine thank you now i think there's a lot of misconceptions as to the whole skin issue. People think that if they put on certain lotions, it's going to prevent aging, it's going to prevent a lot of problems, but your book talks otherwise. Can you begin by telling me some of the characteristics of the skin, first of all? I can. I, I don't want to mislead the, the, the viewers, though. I, there are certain things that if you put them on topically uh, are highly useful, and we should probably talk about that at some point. But the, uh, the skin is uh, composed of three major layers. There's a very superficial layer where a lot of activity occurs. It's called the epidermis. And the cells in the epidermis are, you know, there's new ones being born all the time, and they basically mature and they develop. And then they, as they get to the top surface of the skin, they're actually full of a type of protein called keratin. And the cells are, get so uh, full of this keratin, they actually die. So the surface cells are actually dead. And then with desquamation, as they get sloughed off, the newer cells that are coming up behind them take their place. So this is an ongoing process. Below that layer of the epidermis is the dermis, where there's a lot of connective tissue that supports the skin. As we get older, some cells stop making the protein collagen that supports the skin, so our skin starts to sag a little bit. But there are some things you can do about that, which we can talk about. And then below that, you have a, a, a subdermis that has blood vessels and some fatty tissue that also supports the skin, brings nutrients there, and serves some other purposes. Uh, so those, those are the three layers of the skin that you have to deal with from the outside in and from the inside out. You no, know, unfortunately, people are so focused on the fountain of youth, but they do it from the outer perspective. They buy, they spend billions of dollars collectively, like I mentioned in the introduction, on creams and, and lotions. Right. And of course, in the summertime, they, they try to find something protective to put on their skin to prevent the damaging rays from penetrating. Now, your book takes a different angle than this. It goes beyond what you put on your skin. Of course, you include that, but it goes beyond this. Why? It goes beyond this because... Uh, skin cancer rates are, are escalating uh, tremendously. Uh, we think it's because the ozone layer is getting thinner, which often uh, helps to prevent a lot of the damaging rays from getting in. And we also live longer. We're living longer than any generation of uh, humans that we know of. And so our lifetime exposure to sunlight, ultraviolet light, uh, is greater. And as ultraviolet light hits the skin, it doesn't just bounce off, it actually penetrates and scatters into the skin. And it does uh, damage to the skin cells uh, by interacting with oxygen that's in the skin cells, creating these very damaging molecules called free radicals. And free radicals then can cause skin aging, skin wrinkling, and skin cancer. And so, of course, what you've been told by dermatologists and estheticians and people in the spa, but it's correct. You should need to decrease your exposure to ultraviolet light, wear protective clothing, and wear a high SPF sunscreen to help filter it. But in spite of all of those warnings and people you know, trying to take some precautions, skin cancer still increases mm -hmm. and will probably continue to do so. There is a missing link, and the book addresses what is the missing link. And the missing mm -hmm. link is that we now know that by ingesting particular antioxidants through supplementation, not just from yes. fruit and vegetables, mm -hmm. but when you take a certain cocktail of supplements of vitamin C and E and selenium and so on, that the skin cells that are developing below the surface take those antioxidants out of the bloodstream and build a stronger defense against that ultraviolet light so it can't do as much damage. And so it's like, if I can just take a minute longer to talk about mm -hmm. it, it's like if I take an apple and I cut it in half, and I expose it to the oxygen and air, it turns brown after a few minutes. But if I take that apple, I cut it in half, 
and I squeeze lemon juice on the flesh of the apple, the vitamin C, acting as an antioxidant, is able to interact with oxygen to slow down the rate at which the apple turns brown. Most people say, yeah, that's true, it slows it down. Why? Because vitamin C has this protective ability to, uh, to slow down free radical damage. But it also does it inside skin cells upon exposure to ultraviolet light. So the book talks about, you know, from the inside out, you also have to take certain measures that will slow down skin aging so you'll look better longer and you'll reduce your risk of skin damage. Yes, that's one thing I love about your book because you do get into the natural vitamins that promote, of course, um, well, younger looking skin. But the big question is, if you happen to be a person that did not take care of your skin and you did everything wrong, you stayed out in the sun, you smoked, you drank, you did everything wrong, and you have a lot of wrinkling, is it possible to really minimize those wrinkles? Now, I know that a lot of um, products make that promise, but is it possible? Well, you know, once there's been photo aging from sunlight and uh, free radical damage from excess alcohol consumption and cigarette smoking, uh, to completely reverse it is not possible. However, you can reverse it by about five to seven years if you follow the program that I outlined. And that's a lot. It's pretty good. Yes. Most people would say, oh, I'll take a five to seven year jump back. I just don't want to promise you 20 years, that's all, because that's, that's not <laughs> realistic. A and the way that it's done is by, get it, by following the dietary recommendations, but it's not enough, honestly. You need to take that antioxidant cocktail that I talk about in the book yes. with some other, with a, and sort of a high potency multivitamin. Of course, multivitamin. we're going to be getting in more detail into these factors okay, later good. on. So we can put that on the shelf for a moment. But there are two topical agents that you put on topically every day to reverse the aging process to a significant degree. And then if you feel you need plastic surgery beyond that, that's your call. But what can you do naturally? You can use a, an encapsulated form of hyaluronic acid. As we age, the skin normally is making this molecule called hyaluronic acid. It's a big word. Let's just call it HA. In the book, I say let's just call it HA. So as your skin makes HA when you're younger, it makes lots of it. And HA is it's like a sponge. It's a water magnet. Mm -hmm. It pulls the water from the bloodstream into the skin, plumps the skin up. And so the skin is smooth on the surface. After about age 20, we start making, just for genetic reasons, we make less and less and less HA as we get older. By the time we're 50 years old, we are making 50% less HA than we made at age 20. And the effect on the skin is simply this. If the water magnet is not there anymore, or substantially reduced, then the skin can't pull the water from the bloodstream in as well and hold it. So the skin dehydrates and it starts to shrivel up and crinkle up. And you get you know, crow's feet, fine lines, shallow wrinkles. They start to occur. And you look in the mirror at around age 30 and you say, what happened to me? You know, where, where is all this happening? And then as the next decade goes by, and the next decade, it becomes more progressive. So you say, is that permanent? There is a specific kind of HA that's encapsulated. It's been shown in clinical studies. It can't just be any HA that you find out there. It has to be an encapsulated form of HA wrapped in a fatty, waxy liposome that's made at different chain lengths, as we call it, where the shorter chain lengths, when you put it on your skin, will go down to the deep layers of the skin. The medium chain lengths go to the middle, and the longer chain lengths, because they can't go that far, stay near the top. You can reconstitute the skin's missing HA by putting topical HA on, if it's the right form, the encapsulated form. And when it does that, and now the magnet is back, it pulls the water into the skin the way it's supposed to, and it plumps that skin back up, and all of a sudden those fine lines and crow's feet are filled in to a certain degree that reverses the appearance of aging. So it has a natural age reversal effect. The other topical serum that I recommend people use, and I use it myself, is a, it's, it's known as a biopeptide. Some dermatologists in France discovered just around the year 2000 that if you were to put this particular series of amino acids on your skin in this particular sequence, which they call a biopeptide, that it stimulates synthesis of collagen in your own mm -hmm. skin. A lot of women go and buy collagen products and they yes. put these... But collagen's too big a molecule. It doesn't go down into the skin. And once it's there, the body's just going to break it down anyway. What you want to do is you want to get your skin to start making more of its own collagen. 
And so you see, and no one knew how to do that, but they discovered there's a particular sequence of a little, like a small little protein. You put it on your skin in the serum base, penetrates down, stimulates the cells that make collagen to increase it. So now the supporting network of the skin is strengthened and supports the skin better, there's less sagging, and using the hyaluronic acid with the biopeptide together, twice a day, five to seven years. Well, you have some amazing research as well in your book when it comes to the vitamins, and of course we'll be talking about this and the role of genetics as well. Now today I have with me Dr. James Machino. He's one of the best out there scientists when it comes to the whole realm of anti-aging research. We're talking about your skin overall with an emphasis on anti-aging. If you have any questions, give us a call at any time. Our lines are open. We'll return after this. Stay tuned.